A good resume won't automatically get you a job, but a bad resume will certainly keep you from getting one. You have to grab their attention very quickly with an easy to read format in a way that presents your information in both a professional and interesting manner. You have to do all of that in about six seconds. Studies have shown that recruiters only spend about six to 10 seconds on average per resume. Eye tracking studies have also shown that formatting really does matter. There are several different kinds of formats that you can use. The most common format that's used is the chronological resume format. But if you have a lot of experience or maybe you've had some career changes along the way, you may want to consider a functional format or even a combination between the two. If you're in more of a creative field, you can have more of a visual resume format, such as an infographic using Pictochart or Canva, or you could also create a Presume using Prezi to create a presentation format of your resume. A few common things to watch for is be cautious when you're using resume templates. Some resume templates can be difficult to edit, and also some include a smart tag that's built in at the top of the page where you insert your name. What you may not realize is happening is on the other end, when the recruiter opens up the resume, it automatically changes to their name instead of yours. Another thing that you need to be cautious about is don't rely on spell check alone. Spell check doesn't catch everything, especially if you use a correct word, but you've misspelled it. For example, we see the word lead, L-E-D, misspelled as L-E-A-D quite often. So make sure that human eyes look at your resume, don't just rely on spell check. Spell check also doesn't catch if you have something in all capital letters. For example, we see the word experience misspelled quite often, but it's in all capital letters. So the spell check doesn't catch that. So again, run it by some human eyes, make sure, send it to your friends, let them look at it and make sure that everything is spelled correctly and you're using the correct grammar. Also, we get a lot of questions about, should the resume be one page or two? The rule of thumb still is to try to keep it to one page if at all possible. However, if you have to go on to a second page, make sure that you have enough information that will warrant that second page. Also, keep in mind that the recruiter will probably not take the time in those six to 10 seconds to look at that second page. So make sure the really important information that you want them to see is on that first page. And finally, make sure that you optimize your resume for applicant tracking systems. Most of the time you will be applying for a job online and the way the system works is it will canvas your resume, pull out every time there's a keyword that matches the job description. So what you wanna make sure is that you coordinate your resume to the job description and customize it every time you apply for a different position. A resume tells your professional story and we in the Career Center can help you tell that story. We have tips and resources in our resource guide on the ACU Career Center website. We have different sample resumes and tips to make sure that you optimize your resume. If you ever have any questions or need assistance, just email us at careers at acu.edu. We are here to help. Thank you for joining me today. I hope these tips will help you as you prepare your resume for the job you're seeking.